Well, here we have a new Chem Punk, uh, 250 milliliter flask. This one, if you can see it, has a light suspended inside of it, an RGB that changes colors. You can see that little red dot is going to change here in, in a second to something else. Or at least it should. It's red now. There it goes. It's changing to white, and then it'll go to green, and then to blue. I started this in the dark so you can see the Ezekiel effect. It's got an amazing ring around it that is extremely colorful, and it continually changes. There are, let's see, two RGBs in each end, one in the middle, and one behind to cause the Ezekiel effect. Never built one as difficult as this. I think I'll take up brain surgery after uh, what I've done with this one today. I, I, re I rebuilt it three times before I finally got it the way I liked it. Uh, I hope it's something that you like. And let me turn the lights on so you can see it in the daylight. Uh, it's my standard six-digit digi, digit, six-digit Nixie with uh, lighted ammeter. Clock in the back, or oh, let's see, there's a piece of stuff hanging out. Oh, excuse me, let me get that off of there. When you use hot glue, it goes everywhere and everywhere you don't want it to go. And I know it's not very professional. I mean, have this conversation when I'm doing this, but you know something? We're friends by now. So there's the back. Copper on both ends, all handmade. Copper there, copper tube plate. It's Kempunk, which is steampunk meets chemical glassware because of the difficulty of finding um, radio tubes anymore that we can afford to use. Uh, this clock would be over $400 if I tried to find a similar tube to use uh, in a radio situation. So anyway, I hope you like it and I hope you buy it. Thank you.